Hey everyone, it's Miss Felice. Welcome to Simplifying Expressions Day 2. So we're going to start with this video with a little bit of a do now. So right now in your notebook, I would like for you to copy down this expression and try to simplify the expression on your own. And then when you are done, you can click, click play and continue the video to check your answer. Okay, pause now. All right, now that you have hopefully done this do now in your notebook, let's quickly review it before we move on. So in this expression, the number that we are distributing, because we're going to start our simplification with the distributive property, the number that we're distributing is 2. The 2 is going to get distributed to 5x. 2 times 5x is 10x. And then we're going to distribute 2 times 6, which is 12. And now nothing else gets distributed because there's nothing else in the parentheses. So we bring down minus 4 and we bring down this 4x over here. Now that we've distributed, we can combine our like terms. We have a 4x and a 10x. When we add those together, we get 14x. And then 12 minus 4 is 8. So 14x plus 8 is our final answer. We can't combine those because they are not like terms. All right, let's get ready for some challenge problems and we're going to start actually with just these ones so I'll cover the other ones for now. So numbers one and two, why are these challenge problems? What makes them a little bit different than what we did yesterday? Well, I see two sets of parentheses, three times the sum of 4x plus 5 plus two times the difference of x minus 4. So on the, this problem we'll be distributing two separate times. Let's start. The 3 is going to get distributed to the 4x and also to the 5. So we're going to have 12x plus 15 here. But then we also have this set of parentheses. 2 is getting distributed to x. First I'm going to bring down my plus sign. So we have 2x and then we're going to distribute 2 times 4, which is 8. So all I did was distribute two separate times in this problem. Now I have one long expression that I can simplify by combining like terms. So we have 12x plus 2x, that would be 14x. And then I see a 15 minus 8. Be careful, this isn't plus 8, it's minus 8. So plus 7, because 15 minus 8 is 7. So this is my answer, 14x plus 7. All right, number two, same thing. I see two sets of parentheses here, my first one and then my second one. So we're gonna be doing the distributive property two separate times. First, we're gonna do four times six x, which is 24 x. And then we're gonna bring down the minus sign and do four times one, which is four. Now I can distribute with the next set of parentheses, bring down my plus sign. 5 times 5 is 25. And then 5 times 7x is 35x. Now that we have distributed everything, we can combine our like terms. So I see 24x plus 35x. So let's add those together and we are going to get 59x, right? And now we have a 4 plus 25, but be careful. This is a tricky one. This isn't just a regular 4. This is minus 4. Let's circle it actually. So we have a 25, a positive, a regular number 25, 
minus 4. So this is actually subtraction here. So when we get our answer, 25 minus 4, that's 21. Don't add them to get 29. We need to subtract them because minus 4 means we subtract. So that is my answer, 59x plus 21. All right. Now I would like for you guys to pause the video and try these two problems on your own. When you're ready, click play. All right, now that we have done these two problems, let's check our answers. For number three, we are going to be doing 2 times 11x plus 8 plus 3 times x minus 1. So the 2 is going to get distributed to 11x and then get distributed to the 8. And in the next one, the 3 is going to get distributed to the x and then the 3 is going to get distributed to the 1. So when we do 2 times 11x, that's 22x. Then we do 2 times 8, and that's 16. I can bring down my plus sign. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. So now that we have distributed, let's combine those like terms. I see a 22x plus 3x, which is 25x. And then 16 minus 3, which is 13. So that's my answer, 25x plus 13. In number 4, we are going to do 6 times 3, and then 6 times 5x. So let's start with that. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 5x is 30x. Then I can bring down the plus sign. Now we have to distribute 4 times 2x and then 4 times 3. So 4 times 2x is 8x. 4, let's bring down the minus sign. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, we have distributed 2 times. Now if I'm going to go combine like my like terms, I see 30x plus 8x, which is 38x, and then 18 minus 12. We can combine those. They are like terms. 18 minus 12 is 6. So 38x plus 6 is my final answer. And we just have one more problem to go over together, a real life application using the distributive property. So here we have a rectangle. I want you to try to find the area of this rectangle. And I gave you a little hint, area equals length times width. So pause this video right now and see if you could try to find the area. Okay, so let's see how we did. First of all, before we can go and find the area of this rectangle, let's talk about what is the length and what is the width. What does the length equal and what does the width equal? Okay, so the length is usually the longer side. So I see that here, this part of the length is 6, and then this part of the length is x. So if this is 6 and this is x, and I want to know what the total length is, I would add those together. My length is 6 plus x centimeters. And then that means my width down here, since there's nothing else, my width is just 4 centimeters. So I know that I have to multiply the length and the width to figure out the area. Now remember multiplication, it doesn't matter what order you multiply. You can do length times width or you can do width times length. So let's do it that way because it might be a little bit easier. The width is 4, so area equals, so we're going to multiply the width 4 times 
this length, 6 plus x. Now, 6 plus x is one unit of measurement. It stays together. So let's put parentheses around it so we don't break it apart. 6 plus x has to stay together. Hey, does this look like something that we've been learning? Yes, this is where we use the distributive property. If I want to do 4 times the sum of 6 plus x, I am going to distribute. So 4 times 6 is 24, and 4 times x is 4x. Can I combine these together? No, I cannot. So we are done. The area of this rectangle is 20 four plus four x centimeters squared. That is my final answer. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you later.